Hi, I'm Matt. This is Rex. He's a black throat monitor from Tanzania in Africa. He's a bit bigger than your average sort of lizard that you'll see every day. He's six foot long, weighs 40 pounds, but very docile and thinks he's a puppy dog, basically. He's a big boy. He, he's a carnivore, cold blooded. He free roams the house. Um, he eats anything from turkey mints, rats, chicks, rabbits. Um, he likes his baths, he likes sunbathing, sleeping. sleeping. Once a week we run him a bath. He, when he's had enough, he'll climb out of the bath, brings himself downstairs and goes where he wants to go really after that. So. You just hear yeah. a thud, you're like, oh, you just hear a thud. Yeah. He's out. He's out he's of the, the bath, bath now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's bits of like lizard skin around. It's like the bath is black and there's lizard skin everywhere. I'm like, oh my gosh, really? So Matt's job once once he's done is to scrub the bathroom. <laughs> Very similar to for us, just owning a dog. Um, yeah, he's he's no trouble at all. He just needs, his main thing is he needs his heat, he needs his either sunlight or UVB, and he needs his heat, um, needs his food. He'll eat once or twice a week, one week, he'll have two, he's gonna fall off the sofa. <laughs> come here, come here, come here boy. <laughs> one week he might have some salmon and some chicks or have some eggs, another week he might have a large rat or rabbit. One of the funniest things I think he'd done was I left some food out to defrost, not for him, because it wasn't eating day, but it was up on a four and a half foot shelf, defrosting from my tegu. When I went to check on the food, he had climbed up on this shelf, eating the food that was for the other lizard, and he was just led under his basking lamp, loving life. And obviously the other thing he'd done was this sofa that we sat on, went up inside it and curled up in it. So I had to lift the sofa up and pull him out. I've had Rex for about a year now. He's about five years old. The guy who I got him from, I went to Doncaster to get him, which is about a four hour drive to get him and four hours back. Um, but this is what I've wanted all my life. Just a large, a large lizard, just like a dog. And the guy that raised him honestly done a, a brilliant job of of taming him because as you can imagine he, people might be deceived by how good he is but if you get a lizard like this that is aggressive and isn't used to people that can spell big trouble for the people that are handling them he wants to go under the sofa now <laughs>